Hello, friends, and good evening. Welcome back to Edwin's ASMR Corner. I'm your host as always, Edwin. Hello. I hope you enjoyed last week's video. This week, I want to just check your balance. See how you're doing balancing life and work and play and everything else you have on your plate. And so, before we begin, as always, please feel free to drop down, hit the like button, maybe comment, share, or subscribe. It really helps out the video. Thank you. And now, as you're ready, please feel free to get comfy, to get cozy, and as you're ready, we'll begin. Awesome. From here, we'll start as we always do with a couple easy breaths in and out on your own time. Gently finding more length and space in between breaths. Feeling the breath slow and feeling yourself come to the mat to wherever your meditation space is for today. Just allow yourself with each breath, letting those whispers, those thoughts, those things you hold on to from your day, your week, your month, whatever it is, just letting those fall by the wayside and allowing yourself to be present and here. One more breath here. And exhale, very nice. From here, on your next breath, inhale, inhale, drawing the breath up from the earth to your base as we begin our body scan. And exhale, very nice. Inhale one more time, drawing the breath up into your base, wherever that is for you today. Maybe your feet, your legs, your hips, your sits bones. And exhale. Inhaling one more time. Really letting your breath find each corner of your base. Exhale. On your next inhale, inhale, drawing the breath up this time into your mid body. That's your belly, your lungs, your heart, your back. And exhale. Inhaling one more time, letting the breath seek out those little corners. And exhale. Inhale one more time. Finding that beautiful expansion, tracking that breath as it slowly moves, and exhale, very nice. On your next inhale, inhale, drawing the breath all the way up this time through the base, through your mid body, all the way up to your upper body. Exhale. Inhaling one more time, 
nice and slow and full. Letting that breath carry you upwards, finding that height, finding that the breath goes through your head, through the crown of your head, all the way up to the sky. And exhale. On your next inhale, inhale one more time, working the way up, all the way up. way back down. Inhaling once again. Finding expansion throughout your entire body this time. And exhale. On your next inhale, inhale, drawing the attention inwards this time to your thoughts, to your feelings, really giving those their moment to shine, their moment to come forward if there's something that's been on the mind. And exhale. Inhale one more time, just letting the thoughts come and go as they want. No pressure to hold one in place, but noticing which ones come up and which ones go. And exhale. Inhaling once more. Just taking stock of everything you've learned in today's body scan. And exhale, very nice. From here, you'll keep your attention turned inwards. And as you do, just gently continuing to think about those things that came up in the last part of the body scan. Those thoughts, those feelings, those things that you can't quite seem to let go of. And as you ruminate on those, I wanted to give you all a little context for today's video. I've been feeling a little just unbalanced as of late. It feels like a lot of the things that I've been doing, and although I do want to qualify at first, all these things are so wonderful, and I'm so excited to have these opportunities to be able to just be at home and design and work for myself and create something frankly kind of cool. I've been feeling like I've just fallen too deep into it, that I forgot to live life with balance. I recognize that in the last month, I really hadn't taken a day off, a meaningful day off where I intentionally just enjoyed existing. Not that the things that I do haven't been joyful or whatever negative associations I could have with them, because it's not that. It's that even though these things that I love and I love doing, everything needs to be taken in balance. And so I found myself in this lovely routine that I really enjoy, waking up, going to the gym, finishing up, coming back, and pretty much just immediately hopping into 
whatever is on my to-do list for the day. Maybe it's designing tanks and t-shirts. Maybe it's working on certain scripts. Maybe it's just a home project. But it's important to remember that these things, much like I preach for our thoughts and feelings, they'll be here. And they'll, there will always be more things. This to-do list doesn't have a finish line. It will keep growing as things happen, as things change, as I learn about more things that I want to try. And as a result, it's very easy to just get sucked in especially if any of you work for yourselves and there isn't that Monday to Friday rhythm. There isn't that, hey, I work these shifts and I come in and I do my thing and then I leave. And there's a fine, specific line of where work starts and work ends. It's easy to just lose that. And it's not to say that when you have that routine as well of a nine to five or a steady something that it's impossible to get lost as well. It's just as important to make that time when you know you have that free time outside of work. But for me, the context is that I've just been accidentally working every single day for the last month, which is good, but everything in balance. And so this weekend has been a great weekend for that, to just slow it all back down And just remember that it's important to take a moment away from these things and not even think about it. It helps breathe new life into creativity. It helps recharge the soul. And I hope that this little story or lesson is something that can be helpful for you to remember. Have there been times as of late where you've just felt caught in whatever whirlpool of life that's been there for you, or maybe it just feels like before you know it, you look up and you just haven't really come up for a breath for a month or two months. Whatever it is, just taking a moment now and starting to look back. How has the last day been, the last week, the last month, or even the last year? There's a bit of an insidious quality to what I'm talking about today. It's so easy, it just creeps up on you. You focus on your goals or deliverables or whatever that thing is that propels you forward. And then one goal gets replaced by another. And before you know it, a wildly large chunk of time has just passed by. But it's okay. We get these wake-up calls in life, whether something cropping up just in our minds, or maybe it's a friendly stranger on the internet who's telling you his own story 
in hopes that you'll be able to relate to it. Whatever it may be, taking a few moments now, taking a few easy breaths, again, just on your own time, thinking back to how things have been and if this is something that's relatable for you. And as you breathe and as you recognize where you're at right now, and whenever you're ready, starting to transition your mind to a different thought. What is something you can do to rest and find balance once more? What is that thing that can just breathe new life into you? Taking a few breaths here just to ruminate on that. And as always, it's okay to not have maybe a specific answer right away. Maybe you'll find it. Maybe the only thing that you get out of this video today is the beginnings of the thought of maybe things aren't as balanced as I thought they were, and that's okay too. But maybe when you have time be it tonight, be it this week, whenever. Really treat yourself to whatever that thing is. That thing that gives you a bit of life, a bit of balance. Something that you may have forgotten about. You got this. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it helped. And if there's more day left in your day, well, have a lovely rest of your day. But if maybe you're cozied up and ready to go to bed, well then, sleep well and sweet dreams.